Oh man, we are back. Here. We are back in PA. I'm on our beautiful little porch here. Got some nice potted plants on the porch. My, uh, my mom and my daughter put those together while we were back in Connecticut. They were planting those. They got some herbs, some flowers. It's nice on the little porch to see little plants. Thanks, Ma. Uh, the wedding was so nice. We had such a fun time. It was a ton of work to go all the way back to Connecticut. Um, after having just been here, I mean, we were really here under two weeks. But the wedding was one of the most fun weddings I think I've been to since our wedding. I, our wedding was fun too. That was my favorite wedding. But now we are uh, back at the farm and we gotta hit the ground running because we've been away and we just moved in and now it's time to start treating this place like our farm and not like a place we go on vacation. So today we actually have a little farming to do. All right, you ready? We fenced the cows in back beyond where the chickens had been enclosed and they've grazed that area so we're gonna pull them off it so they don't overgraze it a little too much get them on some new pasture we're just gonna do it super quick today because we've still got some work to do in the house to settle in so it's gonna be stepping posts and some electric twine Yeah, just drop it. You don't have to shake it. You can see the difference in the grass where they've been pretty much since we moved in, where they haven't been. I mean, they've got this thing totally done. It's pretty much overgrazed, but just because of time, we haven't been able to move them. Today, we move them. We've, we've talked about this uh, twine and step and post setup before on the channel. This stuff is so nice for cows because it goes up so quick, it's very easy to use. And if you wanna just move them fast, this is the way to do it. wire grounding out on uh, tall grass so I'm using this cart not only to hold all our materials and move them along with us but I'm also using the wheels to kind of crush down some of the grass so that when we stretch our wire most of the grass is not touching it and it doesn't ground out too much I'm using this cart kind of like a weed whacker or sometimes people will spray a fence line. Same kind of idea. I'm using the wiener dog to do it. So I'm using a cart. I use a wiener dog. Get that grass. 
Come here, Gussie. This is Gus. Good boy, Gussie. He is my sister's Dachshund Yorkie mix. And every day when she goes to work, he comes up over the hill to doggy daycare in my mom's house. And anytime we're outside, now he's coming, coming with us and working. He's our little farm dog. Our little farm dog and our big farm dog. Beautiful cows. You done? I'm done. That's it. Now it's time to let him out. Oh, you're gonna be like that? It's your fly mask. Put your fly mask on. It is Now we're going to take down this little section of fence that's keeping them in here and they'll get all this new pasture to go on. They're going to enjoy that. Gonna leave it open, right? As you can see, Luna does not have her fly mask on because she decided to rip a big hole in it. So I have to get her a new one. She also, at how old is she? November, December, January. Seven months old, has gotten her first heat this week. We knew that because she was mooing and mooing. We were away. My mom said, I don't know why she keeps bawling like that. Like, I don't know what she needs. She's fed, she's with her mom. I don't know what she wants. Turns out she's in heat. She started mounting ladybug, so we wouldn't breed her at this age. She's too small, but we will start keeping track of it to see how uh, regular they are and how noticeable they are. Which, for, for a little heifer like that, it's probably going to be very noticeable. She's like a teenager with hormones. <laughs> Drama.
Now we gotta go work in the apartment some more. So much more. We're gonna pretty soon give you a walkthrough of like the apartment done because you've seen because you've seen it from when it was like a 3D graphic, which is pretty cool. But it's not ready yet. So off to work in the apartment. If you don't want to miss any of our videos, sign up to this email list. Every Friday, except for ones when I'm on the road, I send out an email making sure you get a chance to watch all our videos because YouTube doesn't share them all. Sign up here and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.